Hey guys, Snake Art 66613 here. Uh, looking at some old videos. Uh, a long time ago, one of my first videos was a video of a uh, New Caledonian Crusty Gecko Care. One of these guys. This is Magnus. You guys probably know him pretty well. Cute little guy, always wins everyone over. Little bouncy dude. Um, I did a care video on him. wasn't very detailed. wasn't the best uh, video I've ever done. But um, thought I'd enlighten people who didn't sort of know some facts about him. Thought it'd just be quite a cool video. Um, as you guys know, as I've already said, he's a crested gecko. Uh, full name is a New Caledonian crested gecko. Uh, New Caledonia is an island off the coast of Australia. Up until 1983, these guys were thought to be completely extinct until they were found on New Caledonia in a, quite a large population. They're not an endangered species. They're quite well populated because they don't have a lot of natural predators. They're quite a good, like, good animal. Um, they know because if you go to New Caledonia, they'll probably just be bouncing around and jumping on you. Always plan to go there myself. Um, uh, the scientific name is Ractodactylius sitlius, as uh, some people have probably heard me say quite a lot. They're a semi arboreal and probably sort of semi gerinal, semi nocturnal uh, gecko. Um, people always ask how they do that and sort of stick. Well, uh, answer to this is it's two things. It's uh, They have tiny little claws, which you don't really notice until they jump on your face, which is probably what he's going to do now. Um, these little claws uh, just help them grip when they're falling. Right now he's not using them because uh, each of their foot pads has uh, two million nano hairs on it, and these nano hairs have an electric charge. So when they uh, grip an object with a negative charge, or sometimes with a positive charge, it can sort of sustain them and hold their weight, which is quite a quite an awesome little fact. It's how they stick. It's how some animals stick as well. Um, when you see them moving, they'll stay still when they're comfortable. They'll probably clean themselves, but if you adjust them, they'll adjust themselves to deal with the weight so they're in the best possible position to balance and move. Now this guy's a male, you can identify that by, you can see there, the uh, large lump near his tail, that's their testicles or not. Females won't get such a large lump, he is definitely a male because of the size of that. You can probably tell when they're about four to five months old you can tell their sex. These guys breed quite easily and um, they're really cute when they're young. Uh, their incubation period isn't as long as some of the other geckos, so they're quite cool. Uh, a lot of people ask me why um, I always recommend New Caledonians rather than uh, leopard geckos. Um, although New Caledonians don't have as many morphs, there's like him, which is a flame, there's a granite, the harlequin, there's, there's a few, but there's not as many as leopard geckos. Because you've got things like the uh, snowy white, you've got the uh, super albino, there's now the... Um, Hyponesitic, uh, which is quite a good one. Um, musk, they've got ex a vast amount of uh, morphs, as I say. But um, I always recommend these guys because they're a lot. They're not a better observation animal. Well, I'd, I'd personally say they are because they're brilliant to watch and they're quite clumsy little things. But um, they're a lot easier to look after. I'd, well, I wouldn't say they're easier to look after. They're more expensive and they take a bit more work. I'd say they probably both take the same amount of looking after, it's just that with these guys, there's the humidity and there's the heat, rather than just the heat with uh, leopard gecko, because these guys need humidity, but because of the size of the tank and that, they can be a little bit more expensive, but um, so it's all about the responsibility, I mean it pays off a lot more, and the bond I think you build with one of these guys is a lot stronger because they enjoy being handled, rather than um, leopard geckos, which they do enjoy being handled, but if given the chance, they wouldn't want to be handled. If you put your hand into one of these guys who knows who you are, they'll just jump on your hand, which is quite cool. Of course, these guys, their skin isn't as strong, so overhandling or rough handling can cause skin ripping, which isn't very good. And during the time of their shed, they're not very comfortable with being handled, but they'll, they'll still come out and say hello. Um, another thing with these guys is when they drop their tails as a defense mechanism, they don't grow them back, and they end up looking quite weird. Uh, my guy is a fully adult male, fully mature adult male, and he's still got his tail because I've never really put him in a position where he has to drop it for protection. He's always felt safe. Um, things with leopard geckos and uh, New Caledonians is with a leopard gecko, 
the setup is going to be very quick and very easy. These guys take a while to get used to it. Um, with a Leopard Gecko, if you're looking for a high class with Varium, you're just going to look for a low medium Terrarium from Exoterra or the Zoomed kit, and what, some Zoomed Excavator, Exoterra Sand, a hide or two, some crickets, and a plant is all you're going to need, and some vegetables and things. Whereas with these guys, you're going to need sort of the uh, medium tool, the different types of substrate depending on what they like. He likes bark chips. I did put him in mud and moss if anyone wants to know, but uh, he didn't like it. He never went on the floor, but now I put bark chips in. He quite likes it. They hold the humidity better as well. Um, got about 10 plants in there. Uh, feeding ledge. And of course, the Zoomed Reptifogger, as I'll be doing a review on. Um, another thing about these guys is, granted, they are more expensive, but I've always followed the theory is the more expensive, the longer they last, and the more well behaved they are. Here, you right now is sitting there. Hasn't moved. It's quite comfortable where he is. They'll do this. You've got to keep an eye on them sometimes in case they get themselves stuck. But most commonly, if they come out of the vivarium or terrarium, whatever you want to call it, if they come out and um, they notice that the door's open, they will just wander back into their home. Which uh, they'll probably leave their tail hanging over the door, so I'll keep an eye out because he's left his tail hanging over the door before. And uh, I've never shut his tail in the door or anything, but it, it's a possibility. And of course, um, I think that Krista Gecko's a cuter. And they never lose that smiling face. Uh, so, if that's the sort of thing you're after, the the perfect animal. I say. I mean, he's just crawling over my computer screen right now. Oh, guys, it's probably the end of the video. He's doing some really. You can see him now. Jump past. Now I'll pick him up so he doesn't go over by the OBT because that'll probably scare the life out of him. But. He always faces me, so it's he, he likes to look at me, he likes to know what I'm doing, because I'm his owner. But it's always hard to get him to look directly at the camera. As you can see, he's a very cute little animal, very well looked after. I've had him featured in Practical Reptile Keeper magazine. Um, yeah, I just... A lot of people say that he's awesome, and uh, they're most people's favourite. I mean, most of my friends, they're his favourite. I don't have a favourite animal. I know that, probably at the moment, him and Thor probably like me the most. Freya's probably just getting used to me because I haven't had her for that long yet. And the OBT is probably always going to hate me, but he respects that I feed him. But they're awesome little cute guys, and they're just good for handling, and they don't get overly big. So uh, yeah, it's been the video. I thought you guys would probably like to know some little facts about them. There's something else. If anyone else wants to see anything of Magnus, I've been trying to get a feeding thing of Magnus, but he always seems... Declined to feed whenever I've got a camera in my hand. I don't think he likes the red light of the recording. But I mean, they're a great little gecko. Anyway, guys, it's been Snake Hunter 66613 and um, Magnus, the new Caledonian Crested Gecko. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Maybe like our Facebook page or our Twitter page. Maybe follow us or join the group if you want to. Um, yeah, guys, just leave a like and leave a comment, I suppose.